How's it, Tennis Ohana? Back with another video. In today's video, I just wanted to talk a bit about dampeners. Dampener is usually uh, a plastic or rubber uh, thing. <laughs> the common dampener that you might have seen before, it's just a little dot like this, and it goes into the racket right here. Um, now, first, I just want to mention that uh, if you are playing USTA tournaments, there is a rule. You cannot put the damner or anything uh, else, for that matter, above this line, above the first string. So anything that you put on, any damner, should go uh, below the first cross string on the bottom. Now using a damner is a matter of choice and preference. So there it really you don't get much out of it. Some people like to use no damner. So in this racket I have no damner on and if I go like this you will hear that uh, vibration and that's what a damner does. It prevents the vibration. But in reality I don't think it does much to how you hit the ball or you know the striking of the ball it's, it's the same whether you have a damner or not what you do get is a feel a different feel a different sound and and that might be better for you because you like it right so I particularly don't like this I don't like this vibration when I play tennis without a damner on, on my racket mm, I feel like uh, like it's too loose I feel like my strings are very loose and that uh, I don't have much control. It's all in my head, of course, but I personally like to use uh, a damner like this. Okay, this is called a worm. Uh, it's it's uh, right uh, this size for now, but when you put it on, it actually stretches out a bit more and it holds the racket uh, tighter than even the dot damner that I showed you. Hey, tennis fans. I hope you're enjoying the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit that notification bell so you can get alerts when future videos come out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Now let's get back to the video. So my racket looks like this with a damner on. If you notice the difference, there's a lot less vibration. So I like that. I like that thump kind of sound rather than the boing boing uh, spring sound. Uh, but again, it's just preference. Now I've made up my mind that this is what I like. So I never go around using other types of dampeners um, or using no dampener. I, I, I really don't like that. So I, I never go into a match without my warm dampener. I will say this though about these damners. The reason why I have an extra one is because they do break. Uh, for some reason, uh, there's there's a very uh, specific way that you have to put it on to prevent them from breaking, and I haven't really figured out what that way is. Because no matter how sure I am that it's not going to break, it always ends up breaking. Uh, what breaks is this little part at the end. There's a little hook. I'm gonna unhook it. There, I unhooked it. And this little part here, uh, with use or with just hitting the ball hard uh, or close to the damner, uh, tends to break. And they're not cheap. These things are sometimes like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. So, you know, it's, it's not cheap to just get another one, but I figure that's what I like, so that's what I use. There are other, there are very many other types of damners. Uh, some with a worm, some are, uh, you know, like a dot. Some come with maybe. Some people like to put like three of the dot ones. Uh, remember, they have to be on the bottom. So whatever you want to put on the bottom uh, of the racket there, without crossing that first cross string, is perfectly fine. So it's a preference. I found what I like. I suggest that if you don't know whether to use a damner or not, that you use a damner for, you know, if you play twice a week, use it for two weeks 
and see if you like it. Then take it off for another two weeks and I think you'll figure out whether you like a dampener or not. Again, it doesn't do much to your game or the way you hit the ball. It just adds a little more uh, confidence to, to the way you like to feel when you hit the ball. So that's what it really gives you. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day. Uh, catch you on the next one.